Losing your job is almost a miserable experience, but in some cases, there are signs that you're about to get fired. You need to pay much closer attention. It would be best if you recognize signs of termination because it affords you the chance to improve your performance and fix any fundamental issues that may be the cause of your termination. It also aids you to figure out a plan and prepare for your future if you do find yourself without a job. In this video, I will share with you 9 signs that your employer wants to fire you. 1. Your workload has gotten smaller. While you may feel that your boss burdens you with too much work, it may also be that he gives you much work because he acknowledges your dedication to your job. Although it is not advisable to carry out tasks that are way more than your job description, it is said that the reward for hard work is more work. Thus, for any role handled adequately, it is natural that you will gain more responsibilities and duties as time goes on. But what if the exact opposite is happening? Like, you find that specific tasks are disappearing from your calendar, or that you've been told to delegate some of your tasks to other co-workers. Well, this could be a sign that your boss is planning to send a letter of dismissal across to you. 2. You've been asked to merge with or train someone up. Training up a new employee could be seen as an honor. For instance, the management team finds you capable and senior enough to take on other higher responsibilities and wants you to hand over your current position to a newbie under your wing. However, if you have suddenly found yourself being asked to teach them how to do your job, then alarm bells should be ringing. This could be one of the warning signs that your boss intends to get you fired and replace you with someone else. Another signal is a merger. For instance, when a company wants to reduce their staff, they employ a merger process. If the boss merges you and your subordinate, or worse still, asks you to groom that individual, it necessarily is, but it could be that you are on the verge of losing your job. If your company participates in a merger, pay attention to any overlap in your specific job duties with what other employees do. If an overlap exists, that doesn't necessarily indicate termination, but stay aware and be prepared for potential changes that may affect you. 3. You get removed from or left out of projects. Let us assume that one day you are the key point person on a project and then suddenly you are redeployed or replaced with either little explanation or direct explanation that you're not hacking it. When an employer starts reassigning your work to other staff without giving you a clear, understandable justification, this could very well be a sign that the department is preparing for your departure. It shows that your boss no longer values your opinion as it pertains to the business. This, in short, is the equivalent of a door being closed in your face. However, it is done in a painfully slow fashion. According to Lynn Taylor, a national workplace expert and author, even when you try to get back your regular duties, it seems different to get cooperation from your boss and other managers. In fact, they suddenly shadow ban you, making your work life frustrating. 4. Colleagues start to act weird around you. One common trait about coworkers is that if the news of your dismissal leaks out somehow, they begin to act strangely towards you. They may immediately become silent or look at you with pity when you step into an office, or they may mutter words quietly to each other, or even begin to avoid you altogether. Also, those usual rumblings, gossip, and pre-sharing of information with your peers never go on when there's a rumor that your employer is preparing to terminate you. Coworkers or clients around you are suddenly acting a little bit weird. It might not be just you. It could be that they have advanced knowledge of what might go down or be speculating from the sidelines. 5. You are left out of the loop. What do you think about being denied access to the company's online portal or the Wi-Fi's password changes without you getting informed? Well, if it becomes difficult to assess essential data that would help you perform well in your job, or you're not invited to important meetings or included in email chains, or just generally out of the loop when it comes to day-to-day -day details, these signs may mean that your boss thinks you no longer need to know things. Little by little, however, it feels as though you've been cut out of the core company and a pink sleep may be coming your way. In the words of Michael Kerr, an international speaker and author of The Humor Advantage, there could be other reasons for this happening, but suddenly, one may be that your leadership has lost the trust or confidence in your abilities, making you vulnerable when and if layoffs happen. 6. You are asked to provide detailed documents. Feedback on your work used to be informal and undocumented, and any mistakes you made were pointed out to you in private with a friendly talk. Now everything suddenly involves paperwork. Although this is not always the case, you should be worried if you are randomly called upon to present reports on resources handed to you. Indeed, it may be that the company wants to make new decisions. However, increased scrutiny is a phenomenon that is rarely initiated by the accounting department. Robert Dylan Schneider, author of 50 Plus, 
critical career decisions for the rest of your life. In an interview with Business Insider said, The boss believes that you have wasted time or inflated expenses. Even if you are 100%, it doesn't matter. Find out if you are the only person being scrutinized. 7. Complaints about your performance One of the easiest ways to tell if your job may be in danger is to consider your performance. Have you been at your best? How have your recent performance reviews been? If you've been scoring low time and time again, it's likely one of the signs you will be getting fired. These reviews are a chance to see whether or not you're on track and rectify any issues. So if they haven't been going well, you may not be satisfying the people in charge. Managers may place employees on an improvement plan to see if there would be any improvement in your work before deciding to terminate your position. If you find yourself in this position, pay close attention to details of the goals you need to reach. But if the complaints are still regular, then you might be getting fired soon. 8. You are no longer praised. Can you recall the last time your boss commended you for your work? When, recently, has someone said you had done an excellent job? If it hasn't happened in a while, this is one of the significant warning signs of getting fired, even if you performed a miracle never before witnessed by a mortal being. It seems your boss wouldn't acknowledge it now. If your boss is not the type of person to give compliments, you may not take it seriously. However, if your boss used to give you kudos for your hard work, but suddenly stops, then something is wrong. Also, if they go out of their way to compliment other employees, but not you, it is a warning sign. After all, there are only two possible reasons why a naturally vocal boss will not give you commendations. Either you don't deserve it anymore, or your workplace doesn't deserve you. 9. No polite chit-chats between you and your employer anymore. In the good old days, your work hours were peppered with polite chit-chat and casual conversations. In times past, you gossiped with co-workers and even made weekend plans with your boss. Now, those days seem over, and the only communication you get is via email. Then something is most definitely up. You used to be friends, or friendly, at least. But now, there is tension whenever you are in the same room. In the words of the international business speaker and author, Michael Kerr, once your relationship has deteriorated to the point of being toxic, then how your boss treats you from ignoring you to publicly berating you can be obvious signs that your job might be in peril. There is nothing worse than living in fear, especially when it comes to your career. If you notice any of these signs, attempt to recollect where you may have made mistakes and take appropriate steps to amend them while you still can. If you're still skeptical, then start to search for other opportunities early enough.